had a good blast in the Roubaix. It's a nice bike. I definitely rate it. Uh, it's For me, it felt stiffer in the front end, like when you get out of the saddle and fucking wrench it, when you fucking grab the bars and fucking wrench them. The Roubaix, in my opinion, felt stiffer than the S-Works Tarmac disc. Um, could have been the bars, these are alloy bars. Alloy bars are generally stiffer than carbon bars. Carbon bars can flex a bit. Could be the bars, it could be the design of the frame, but the Roubaix, for me, felt stiffer when you had to lay the power down. Comfort, very comfortable. I still probably wouldn't buy this bike. If I was in the market, I would get the Specialized Diverge, the top of the top level one. That, for me, felt like it has uh, more feathers in the cap. The Roubaix is excellent, but I feel the Diverge is next level, more options, bigger tires, fenders, a fucking bike you can just go fucking psycho on. Roubaix is still an awesome bike, um, but I think you're a bit limited in tire widths and fenders and stuff like that. So full adventure bike, I'll be going to Diverge. Roubaix is still a good bike, but I think it's a bit old technology compared to what's out now, the Diverge. I think the Diverge is a new direction. Check this plane out. Basically like planes, like aircraft, there's always new technology coming out. So for me, the Diverge, the Diverge will be the tickets of all the, uh, the tarmac. The tarmac, for me, felt the most let down. Uh, I mean, it's still a good fucking bike, but you know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, if the tarmac's gonna be sitting nah, there, I wouldn't even ride that one uh, if I had the option. Uh, Roubaix would be the next option. The best option, Diverge for sure. Diverge is a bit of a sleeper, a bit of a dark horse. So this is my review of Roubaix. Thumbs up, but I'd probably skip it and get a Diverge instead.